Hi, my name is James Clem. Let's talk about calibrating your Omnicam. I love the Omnicam. If I were placing my Blue Cam and Omnicam side by side, I'll tell you, Omnicam is providing the best data to mill the best margins I've ever seen in my clinical theater. We need to have it calibrated though. The question is when? We're still learning that process. However, think of it this way. If your camera's not working right, or maybe your restorations aren't seating and they had already, or maybe you've had an earthquake, or you're moving your camera and your tower bumps the wall, or maybe you drop your camera and catch it in midair. <laughs> We've all done those things. I do love my Omnicam. Let's talk about the calibration process. Prior to starting your calibration process, there's a few things we need to remember. This is really easy. If I can get it, you can do it. Make sure that the rotational device on the end of your calibration set is rotated and screwed all the way in. That's really important before you start your software process. The other thing is take the <laughs> end cover off your calibration set. I want to call it jig. That's where the camera is going to fit for the first process of calibration. Let's go ahead and get started. Go to your desktop, take your cursor on your start screen to the top of the window Click on Configuration, then click on Devices. You'll open up the Device window and you'll see on the right side there your Omnicam thumbnail. Click on that Omnicam thumbnail. That will enter you into the window that starts your calibration process. This is really important at this time. In the Step menu, that's the lower menu on your desktop in this window, you will see an ID number. Yes, it's an ID. It's not your social security number. It's an ID number that needs to match the ID number on your calibration set. Make sure that's in alignment. If it's not, you'll need to give Patterson a friendly call. The next step is to take your Omnicam camera and insert that Omnicam camera into the bottom of your calibration set. That's where the L is. Insert it all the way. Make sure you have a good hand grip so the camera doesn't move around during the process. On your step menu, click OK. That will direct you through various counterclockwise rotations. It's about a fifth of a turn of the screw component of your calibration set. You'll go through about approximately 11 different settings. Just follow the software. It'll tell you what to do. If you get ahead of yourself, it will tell you to go back. It's pretty self-explanatory and intuitive. The next step is on the right, when you see the arrow pointing to the other end of your calibration set, you'll take your Omnicam out and insert it into the white end. Insert it all the way down. Make sure you have a good grip so your Omnicam is not moving around. And then hit OK on the step menu. That will take a few more seconds. The software will notify you when you have properly completed calibration. It will let you know. It's pretty simple. Once you've completed, hit OK, and you can go back to your desktop start screen. It's really all it takes. Hope that helps you out. We pay attention to that a lot here at CADSTAR and in my practice. We have a fleet of Omnicams, thank you to Patterson, for our training. Before each training experience, we calibrate our systems. We want to make sure they work well for everyone because we know you know, margins are important. OCD, yeah, that's what I am. I'm very critical about my margins. I want them to be great. This is one way I can achieve that. I want my fits to be great. I want my occlusion to be on. I want everything to work. When I'm paying attention to the details, such as calibration, and don't forget to calibrate your MCXL. Usually, I'll start getting a sense for calibration if my restorations aren't dropping in the way I'm used to having them drop in. It's usually a calibration issue. Thanks for watching. I love CEREC. It gives me great clinical joy and personal satisfaction knowing I'm providing really great dentistry for my clients. I tell you, it's made my career a whole new horizon for me. Talk to you later.